Hey everybody, welcome back. You can see us. We're here. A huge improvement from We're yesterday. Here. I'll say thank you all yesterday for being here on time and for being there in the comments with us. It was still a lot of fun getting it to was. interact with you. Well, it was fun getting to interact with them, even well, that's though true. literally we, we hit the button to turn the camera on and then it was just black screen. Yeah, you can't so. see it right now. We've got an entirely new cable up here. We do. Uh, and we, I think we adjusted a few other things. I feel like you haven't seen the top down yet, but everything <laughs> is nice and clear and bright, hopefully, for you today. Uh, but do comment, because uh, we're always trying to improve. Our audio, we spent some time last night talking about very expensive microphones. Yeah. Did we buy one? Not, Not yet. Not yet, but we have Not some yet, ideas. But we might buy one because this, uh, instead of using the lav mics, we're using this boom mic that's not the greatest in the world. Basically, my goal is to be so loud that Deadpan doesn't have to ask us to be louder. There you go. That's my real goal here. So We should just yell so he can hear us across <laughs> the country. Talk to the person in the back row. That's what I was always taught. Project your voice. <laughs> Project. So, thank you. We are back with Ten Penny Parks. This is a new one from... Thunderworks games. It is. It's a little. They've been branching out. I think they were kind of known for a while for like their role player universe. Yeah, and but now, the, and now they've got like Cape, Cape May. Cape May and this feel like definitely steps in a, a welcome direction, in my opinion. As much as I like the role player universe, these are just good old fashioned Euroy type games. You didn't sure. think that they should set this carnival inside the world of role player? I mean, they could have. <laughs> I although I have to say. This art is this Vincent Dutre? This is Vincent Dutre. Yeah, the yeah. art the art is. You should excellent. go as soon as you look at the box. I mean, it's you can tell when you see has, the people that Vincent Dutre uh, does. You, you just know that it's his art. He has he has some great people. So a big thank you to them um, for today's stream, and a big thank you to Game Toppers as always for the equipment, the table, and everything that they've been giving us along the way, and just for believing in the show. Uh, and yeah, we're excited. This is um a, coming soon, right? Not Kickstarter, if I. This is coming soon, I believe. Uh, it's in mid-April. No, it's not. It's straight not, to retail, though, right? I think it's straight to retail. You can probably pre-order it from them directly. Yeah, uh, definitely pre-order. Yeah, but I think it's going to be releasing in April, or at least able to be ordered. Do we, awesome. have, a, do we have a winner from the last stream? Oh, we probably do, but it's been two weeks. We have a winner from a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'll have to look it back up. So, David, so I'll, that, the, I got it in my notes. The good news is we have a winner. Uh well I'll be honest with you we probably haven't picked the winner no yet. I it was from two weeks ago but we will pick the winner and next week we'll announce two winners oh sure let's uh, just do that yeah okay well, for sure we'll do that and uh speaking of winners you can comment today and you might be the winner of Ten Penny Park well one of you will be the winner of Ten Penny Parks so yeah. again you'll get it when it comes out um yeah so I was off I was away for a week. And then yesterday we had tech, pro so it's it's been a weird. It's all Ryan's It's been a fault. weird two weeks for me. Just, I'll just, just say that. Just know this: it's all anything bad. It's always my fault. I'll it's take Ryan's the blame. Fault. If Jeremy Howard's not in here, tell me I'm cheating. Then someone Tiff is in here, tell me that I broke everything. So it's one <laughs> or the other. Exactly. Deadpan says, "Congrats, winner." Yeah, we'll fight. Yes, and we'll announce both next week. It'll be fine. All right. Well, David, you want to talk about the actual game because I do want people to see how good this looks. Yes. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this board. I love this board. It is a really cool board. It has this really cool carousel here that is going to rotate, but maybe not as much as I'd initially thought when I opened the rule book. But it does rotate. No, it doesn't literally spin the entire... It's a, it's a real-time game. That would be really cool. It's a carousel spin. Like a Lazy Susan. <laughs> uh, and we have some attractions and whatnot, maybe some concessions uh, stands, concessions over here. These are more like souvenir shops, this one. Uh, but you're going to be getting these cards, and all these cards, what you can't see on camera is off camera we have stacks of these attractions that each go with their corresponding cards because we're going to be adding these to our board uh, we're playing with the variable boards today these boards have two sides one is the same for everyone mm -hmm. but i flipped them so i'm playing valley of marvels and i'm playing thunder point thunder point thunder i'm assuming reference thunder works yes yeah, i mean pop I'm sure it crossed their mind at least. Here's the interesting thing. is So when you acquire one of these cards, and this is a worker placement game. We have three workers. There's a possibility of having a fourth sort of temp worker. We're going to go out to one of these spaces. You can go on these spaces here and basically purchase these attractions to add to your board. You're going to take the card and the corresponding piece and place the piece on your board. Now, the piece has to go on your board with a few different rules associated with it. A, 
you can't see top down, but uh, we have these trees. Oh, you can kind of see. You see these dark spaces on the board? These are trees. Yeah, they're little pine trees, and you can't place on those, obviously. You can't also place tiles on tiles, as you might expect. But the interesting thing here is, unlike most games, you can't, cannot place these orthogonally adjacent right. to they other attractions. Cannot t well, you have to have little walkways in between. Exactly. They, now, they cannot can, touch. They can touch corner to corner, but it kind of does it's a it's unique because it's a little different because you're really looking at a tile placing tile placement game in a very different yeah this way. is not a game about filling out your player board with tiles in fact obviously you can't fill your entire player board sure. with tiles so it's about trying to maximize the space you can the efficiency use, the yes. efficiency of this space it's very very different from games like you might look at this and think Baron Park but just that one simple rule completely changes the way yeah. you think about now, the game you you are going to have the opportunity to get more space and you can acquire these tiles at one of these locations and add them to the extreme sides of your board like this so hopefully we don't run out of space here uh, but that's what we're going to be doing throughout the game you're also going to be as you acquire these attractions we're building a park that's going to have different effects on the emotions of the people mm, yeah. at the park uh, the emotions being thrill that's my favorite awe i like that one too and joy i do like joy they're all good. You just, Brian's just such a positive person. Uh, so as you add attractions to your board, you're going to be looking at icons on the cards themselves, covering up icons on the boards, and going up these tracks. Now these tracks are going to be points at the end of the game if we get up far enough, but the cooler thing I think about these tracks is at the end of each round, and there are five of them, you're going to be checking who is furthest, and not quite at the end of the round, but in mid-round you're going to be checking to see who's furthest up on the track. And that person has the opportunity to go back one step on the track for a thing. So when you go back on Thrill, for example, that will net you this extra yeah. worker for the next round. If you go back on Awe, you're going to be first player next round. And if you go back on Joy, you just get more money. Because all of this revolves around getting money to acquire some of these attractions. Now, aside from the attraction spots, you're going to see these four spots here in between some of the attractions. We've got a banker, realtor, contractor and arborist. The arborist is going to help us get rid of some of these trees if we need to mm -hmm. or want to. Uh, the banker is just going to give us money. You go there, you get two bucks. The realtor is three dollars, but that's what gets you these tiles here to, to the side of your board. I don't think we're going to be going to the realtor early. No, probably not. Uh, you might be though. It depends on your strategy. And the contractor, does that say contractor? Yeah, yeah it the does contractor, say contractor doesn't cost anything, but you're able to pick one of the face-up uh, concession stands and add that to your board. Which are nice because they're small, uh, but they also have some combination of some of these icons to go up these emotion tracks, and maybe some money on the income front because Possibly. everything you add to your board and your cards that have income instead of points potentially is going to give you that money at the beginning of each round. And you've got the shovel, so you're currently first player. Yes, I chose to be first player because you I wanted chose to be first. Yeah, I didn't. It wasn't fair. I just said I'm going to be not, first player. That's that David just had a valuable life lesson right there. Yeah, when you get to when you have the chance to say I'm going to be first player, you do. We also have our goal cards. Yes, we do. We have three goal cards, and this is kind of what we're going to be trying to build into. Have you looked at your goal cards? I have, and I've already started. Yeah. I've already formulated my entire strategy. Well, I hope you haven't formulated too much because you can only pick two of these three yeah, and keep get, two of them. That's the two that are on top. The one on the bottom, I'm not as worried about here. So we'll see. We only get to pick two right now. Oh, it's right now you pick Yeah, them. you get three and you pick two of them. So I picked my two. Well, then I definitely uh, uh, will not pick the one that was on the bottom. Okay. Uh, Dead Pen, it is really neat. I, I think this is a really cool twist on tile laying. Yes, for sure. I, I, I actually hadn't heard much about this game until very very recently well this wasn't like a bit like thunderworks and to their credit i think they're kind of like they announce a game and then it lets it, then it's like out yeah. they don't spend you know two years building you know hype which some companies do like kate may i didn't even know about it until what gen con ish sure. last year and it's about to come out as well so and in the world of crowdfunding these days it well is, that is true it's we... easier to stand out when you have a game and you just release it uh-huh so right, anyway well, with that said goals. I think we're ready to start. Like I said, we're going to start each round. It's the income step, yeah, then so the action step, uh, the bonus steps, advertising, which we didn't touch on, but we'll, we'll get talk there about when it we in get a there. Second. But income, we would normally take three dollars. Um, yep. I'm assuming we take that now, you even do. though we start with seven. In the gameplay videos, they do so. So you said you technically start with ten. That's true. 
we start with ten dollars and now we get to go and yeah. now i've got to determine whether or not i'm not i'm going to be able to make the most of this first action Ooh, some of these attractions are not cheap no they're not um let's see let's see oh i kind of like that let me look at my objective card. <laughs> yeah that's the thing is like some of these objectives are going to be harder to complete than you might think so but then you might believe so it's like you got a you know getting four attractions might be a lot i am going to go here because uh as you can see around the carousel there are some uh, dentist discounts yep. or premiums to be paid right now this card right here is attached to the biggest discount which is negative two dollars i'm going to go there this would normally cost me six but it's only going to cost me four and i'm going to take dino adventure so i take the card and then I look over here, uh, you can see this red banner. I'm going to find the corresponding tile and place it on my board. Um, let's see. Does that further your secret objective, David? Maybe. Well, it probably doesn't because it was mine. Um, so I'm now going i got to rethink things. Hold on here. I'm going to place this right here. Dino Adventure goes right there. Now, when I'm, I'm covering up an awe space, mm -hmm. I'm maybe doing this a little out of order, but I'm covering up that off. So I'm going to go up and move up on the off for the one I covered. And this is going to give me two victory points at the end of the game, as well as right now two aw and a joy. So I'm going to move up the joy and I'm going to move up all one, two. Uh, and that is it. So I'll flip this over as a reminder uh, for the points at the end of the game. Some of these cards will give you income during the game. And then this is where it comes into mm -hmm. play for the advertising. I was like crossing my fingers that you wouldn't buy that one card, David. And that was it? Well, yeah, I need them. Oh, you Spoiler should know, alert. Too, these spaces for the attractions are distinct. I know. One place, but all these other places, we can go as many as we want. Well, the middle spaces, you can go as many as you want. Yeah, these. Yes. Well, now i got to rethink my strategy. Rethink away, Ryan. Because all I need is... You want me to play for you? What is the... Sorry, I can't see it from the farthest across from me. What that about That submarine it? voyage, what is the cost modifier to that? Oh, uh, zero dollars. So it's, just five dollars then. It's minus two, minus one, zero. What's this one? That's zero as well. Okay, so there's two zeros, okay, and then enough. it gets to be a premium. Then I'll just take submarine uh, voyage for five dollars. All right. Uh, can I have the submarine voyage, please? Yes, you may. It's right here. It's submarine voyage. Oh, yeah, I got to say, I like the Vincent Dutrea. Oh, his artwork is fantastic. Are they one side that has the name and one side that doesn't? Yeah, I th I'm going to go name side up for some right, Me too. I'm going to put the submarine voyage right here. Oh, that's kind of a waste. Yeah. I, I'm going to put I, it right here. I did watch a couple gameplay videos, and it, it is interesting. Thrill. That tile placement rule of not being orthogonally adjacent, uh, you have to think that through. I do. Because you could place your first tile and go, oh, I really just screwed myself you, out of some spaces. I got two thrill. For covering up the thrill and I got two uh, joy from the card and the card is gonna give me one victory point at the end of the turn or to the game no income oh no oh boy well I'm just gonna put my cards I above I'll, mine I, I so you can kind of see too. them and then this is where you can like spend ads to get more uh, points all right all right uh, <laughs> uh, where's your guy oh you didn't put your guy oh up. that's yeah because I was about to take the Maelstrom. Nope. No. Ah, uh, is there anything else I want to take before you take? How do you know I'm going to take I've it? I've got $6 here. What makes you so convinced that I'm going to take it? Ah, uh, do I want that premium? I have just enough money to do that, but man, that's expensive. Which one? Which premium? Nothing. Nothing. Never you mind. I don't know what the word Never premium means mind. in this game, David. Seven. I want um, the premium attraction. Oh, that'll work too. I'm gonna go here to the haunted and get this for six dollars. Haunted dungeon. The haunted dungeon. Do you have any money left? I do not have any money left. Oof. Uh, but this is an interesting shaped thing. That is. A I very probably should have thought of this about this a little bit. You've got spot. Oh, you got spot for it. First, I do have a spot for. Ooh, that's a decent spot for yeah. it. Not a bad spot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place it and cover up my first thrill because it is a haunted dungeon after all. So I got a thrill. And then on the card, I'm mm -hmm. going to get two points, but I get two more thrill. One, two. And a joy. And whoever's on top is considered 
first in the in the row. And then I'll flip that over, and I've got my first two attractions. Okay, well, I don't know that I wanted to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this one for exactly three dollars. This is uh, Ray Gun Alley. This feels like a very sci-fi themed one. It's going to give me one thrill on its own, and I need. Can you hear me, Ray Gun Alley? It's one of the square ones. It's uh, uh, what color? Purple. Purple, I believe. Ray Gun Alley. Ray Gun Alley. And I'm going to place that. I dig it. This is a cool theme. I want to get some joy. So I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to get some joy as well. Hmm. Just a little bit of joy. And, and you have $2 left. I have $2 so I got, left. I got bad news for you. $2 is not enough to do much. It's enough to buy ads and get victory points. It is enough to do that. Um, I, uh, speaking of which, am mm -hmm. going to go... To the contractor. I have to lay him down here. Uh, this is going to cost me zero dollars, but I can take one of these concessions, and I'm going to take the hot dog stand. Yep. Because it's going to give me two dollars during income. Um, and I'm going to put this. Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to put this right here and cover up this four dollars. Okay. Which gives me four dollars immediately. Interesting decision, David. Um, well, I mean, I can't place here. True. Um, I'm trying to navigate the, the rules of... <laughs> of placement? Of placement. Uh, so I'm going to do... Oh, oh you didn't put... Minute. What? That does seem a little crazy, because I'm burning space, right? <laughs> well, you've bought... Yeah, you could add in the tile. You could just go to the, uh, realtor and add another, another, That's add another true. space. That's so. true. It just depends. Um, I think with my $2 that I I've got... I think I am going to... Redo that. Give a your four dollars back. You mean? Yeah, give my four dollars back. So, you go ahead. See, look, while I place Cliff just my said condition. I broke the live stream yesterday. Oh, for and here sure. Comes, and now in two minutes, Jeremy Howard's gonna pop in and say that I cheated. For sure. Just he cheated yesterday, and we didn't even play. <laughs> we all cheated yesterday. We cheated everyone out of a stream on Wednesday. We did by breaking the technology. We did indeed. Uh. So. I don't really know what happened. Sometimes cords just die. Sometimes cords. This is just why die. always having a backup is a good idea. I'll go there. Okay. So I didn't get my four dollars, well, but I, think... I still have a hot dog stand right next to Haunted Dungeon. And then we replace that one immediately. Nope. Okay. Into the turn. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'll I'm gonna go there as check. well. I'm gonna that take this one. Right. Um, this one gives me. Joy and a thrill. But where do I want to put it? I can't put it there. Uh, where, I guess right here. Because I can't use these spaces anyway. So yeah, I, I'm gonna I put have it to right say, there. have you ever played another tile placement game where it had that rule? No. It makes it it's very, very different. different for it's sure. Very I, different. I dig it. All right, that's the end of the round. Yes, that is the end of the round. So, so the bonuses next... step. The bonuses step. We're gonna check the, these starting with yes. thrill and coming down. You're I in the top. I'm gonna of go back one to take the bonus worker for next round. That's, that seems like a smart. Play. I mean, bonus worker in this game it yeah. seems pretty significant. As long as you have some money. Do you want to remain? Do you want to remain first player? Uh, I think otherwise it rotates if nobody takes that. I'm guessing it must rotate, so I am going to keep it. And then I will take the three dollars. Oh wow! You got your three dollars. I did. Uh, next time is the advertising step. This is what we haven't talked about. This is where you're going to look at the attractions you have, and in the lower left-hand corner on the back of the card, it says ads. Mm -hmm. I can spend, for example, from my Haunted Dungeon, I can spend $2 once to get two victory points, and on the Dino Adventure, I can spend $3 to get two victory points. This is effectively thematically recreating the idea of advertising your park and getting some victory points or, or fans of the park. Are you going to do either of those things? No. No, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do $1 for one victory point. I guess I should don't know why I said no. I'm not going to do both. I don't want to spend the two on... Oh, two for one? Two for one doesn't feel good I when I have feel, a one for one right next I to it. I don't feel like you're ever going to do that. Well, you have a two for two, but you also have a three for two. So I think yeah. if you... Uh, we'll see how much money we end up with. Maybe eventually. Yeah, it may be, it may be a thing. 
Uh, that's the advertising step. And on the cleanup step, we refresh the concessions. So these go away completely. And we just put four new ones? And you put up four new ones. Randomly, the concessions, right? Yeah. Concessions are always going to be player count times two. Yeah. So, oh. Oh, well, wow. Well, wow. Was, I put them out randomly from this I might giant just go. I, might, pile. I just might lean into the hot dog uh, theme. Yeah, you're the hot park. dog. You're like an Oscar Mayer theme park over there. Exactly. Sp I'm looking for a sponsorship. <laughs> um, return the workers so we yes. get our workers back. And you got yours. Yep. Rotate the carousel. Now, here's the fun part about being first player. Not only am I going to go first, but I get to rotate this carousel wherever I want it, yep. except it can't be where it is right now. Uh, so I'm actually going to rotate it just one step like that. Mm, I see. Yeah, that's just not... one step like that. Um, and then advance the month marker. Boom. We are down with one of five rounds. And then we go back to the income step for the beginning of Which for me two. is just $3 still. Uh, yeah, my income step, what's your, what's you your $3? Four. We always get $3 in income. Always. Oh, that's right. It's 3 plus. So I get 3 plus the plus $2 your, oh, for my hot dog. So you get 5 stuff. Yeah. How much? So you have 5 I have 7 Yeah. Oh, you had 4 at the end? Well, because remember, I got the free bonus from Joy. Yeah, that's not bad. Money, Grabbing money where you can get it is good. Having Joy in your park is a good thing. It makes people happy. So I'm going to go here straight away to get the Star Captain Outfitter. Uh, it'd be normally $4, but it's a $2 discount. So I'm going to spend $2 to get this card that's going to give me $3 income yeah, that's every a good round. One. It doesn't give me any movement on these tracks, though, but it does give me a tile. Um, it's these little yellow ones. Star Captain Outfitter. Star Captain. And I'm going to place that right here see look there you go over the four dollars so i'm gonna get those Isn't it $4. good thing you didn't place that hot dog stand there it was super, you're welcome it was super good and then i'm gonna just put this somebody up was watching out for you david all right can i see mammoth valley because my spatial ability is not great mammoth valley yeah it's the one that looks like a w or an m I believe that it will s yes slot right here. i would say that even more than most tile placement games, this is going to be one of those yes. ones where people pick up the tiles and try them. And so they can five dollars. They can be rotated and flipped any way you want. So. And this spot gives me two. Did your spot give you four dollars? It did. Mine only gave me two. I wonder what. Well, we have different. We have I different. know, but that's the only difference to our boards that I can see. Unless the tree placement may be different. It looks like I have more trees. You might have more trees than I do. I have four, eight, ten. And you have nope. You I have also ten have trees. ten. I, I don't know. Maybe I just lucked out. <laughs> Yeah. This is the Valley of Marvels, after all. Uh, so I got, yeah, I got my two bucks back. So what was on, What did, did you cover anything up? Yeah, I covered two dollars. And what did you get for the Mammoth Valley? Oh, yeah. I didn't take and did you those. buy it for I the did. five dollars? Well, yes, I did. Uh, it gives me two uh, off. off. No shock? No shock. And this one's three for two dollars, or three dollars for two victory points, which is still not... Yeah, that's I'm looking good. for that one that's like two for one. I'm looking for the four for four, honestly. That would be that would be nice to, to be able to. A two for one would be nice. Yeah. Well, there's the two for one right there. No, I meant. Oh, I one meant, for two. I meant one dollar for two. I don't one. know that we're going to see that. No, probably not. Although it could be on a really expensive uh, attraction. It could be. All right, so I've got seven dollars. That feels like a lot of money. And let's see. So the things you're scanning for here. I mean, at least based on my cards, I'm scanning for maybe certain types of attractions, but also maybe being far up on one of these tracks. Um, and with that said... I like being up on the tracks. Being see. up on tracks is good. Oh, I see. Those are the icons up in the upper left that you can... Yeah, the icons for the in. different types of attractions. I don't know how well you guys can see the icons, um, but they're also kind of thematic in their artwork and their names, too, so... Ooh, I don't even know if I can place that one. <laughs> Brian said that Mammoth Valley placement right here made his brain happy. It just kind of fit right in. It is right into nice. the tree line. That is sad. The trees make the placement that much more satisfying. This is the first time I'm having to look at my board and go, wait a minute. I can't place some of these things anymore. Dead Pen says if you really want four for four, you could just go to Wendy's. That's their big four for four <laughs> deal. I might go. Can I we, might go to Wendy's now. We're gonna cancel the live stream right we're now. We're gonna pause mid game so I can go to Wendy's. I have. We, we're talking about looking for sponsors, man. If Wendy's 
if Wendy's sponsored our live stream, I would eat a sandwich or a frosty every Wednesday. Wendy's, if you're listening, <laughs> and you're not into board game media just yet. There we go. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at these tiles. Some of these are crazy. Wendy's did do a role-playing game. That is true. I have played it. That it was quite true. fantastic. Uh, hmm. 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 <laughs> you're really debating this, huh? Uh, I am debating it because there's no room on my board for big things like Dragon's Flight. That's the problem. Dragon's Flight. I mean, look at this one. This isn't Dragon's Flight. Oh, that's like, interesting. Oh, right, put a tree talk, right about, in the talk about satisfying your brain. Like, imagine putting that right there. Yeah, except I can't. Yeah. Because Ray got alleys in the way. No, but Dragon's... Oh, where's Dragon's Flight? Yeah, right Dragon's there. Flight's kind of crazy, too. And I, I could do have, Dragon's Fight. I don't have anywhere where that would work. I could 100% do Dragon's Fight, but I don't have $7. Yeah, I definitely... And um, the banker gives you $2? The banker gives you $2. So I definitely I'm don't have enough. smaller pieces here. Do any of these tiles... Are all these expansion tiles the same? Yeah, it looks like it. No, they're not all the same. They're kind of... I don't know, they are. They're identical. So you can't get any, like different bonuses right uh, not quite but the bonuses are the same. i am going to go here I'm off of my own little planning world um and there's zero discount so i have to spend three dollars to get the maelstrom the maelstrom yep. is just a two by two blue mm -hmm. um and it's going to give me one on awe yeah and uh, uh where can i put that I'm going to put it right here. That covers joy up well. a joy. And I'm going to add it to my pile. All and right. Start to... I'm going to go to the concession stand. I want this one that's a joy and a dollar. So it's going to give me one joy and then a dollar of income every round. And I'm going to put it... Actually, I'm going to put it right here. To also get an awe. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do something. Oh, I think they're already. <laughs> yeah, can't go back. I'm Wait, gonna buy that one I, I just there? revealed. Oh, I built Star City. That's what we I used did. both the minus ones already, didn't we? We did. Yeah, what, did I just like? Oh, I bought that at the beginning. We both of the round. did. We both used mm -hmm. both of the mm -hmm. discounted ones we bought already. I feel like I want to let's see what the cards are out here. I'm gonna need some real estate for sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go to the contractor. You take another hot dog. Uh. No, I'm going to take uh, this shirt shop, and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Do I want to put it right there in the middle? Mm. I do want to put it right there in the middle. Okay. And that's going to cover up a wild, so mm -hmm. I can go up on anything. And then it also gives me a joy, and it's going to give me some income. Uh, I'm going to go up on awe for my wild, mm -hmm. and then the joy. Can I go back to concessions since I've already been there? I believe so. You said any number of people, right? I believe so. I don't I I didn't want see any that rules two dollars otherwise. But where do I want to put it? I guess I don't want to put it there. Can't put it in these spots are all those are all destroyed. Destroyed. So I could put it right here, which might be what I do. You've got this like big empty forest full of concession stands on the bottom south south side of your park. All right, and that's going to give me. So I was wrong about the realtor. The realtor is going to come into play sooner than I thought. So I'm going to do another. Um, I've got one more action. <clears throat> oh. Should I do the realtor now? I mean, it looks like you're going to have to. Well, soon. I could do arborist instead. I could do arborist or we get rid of these two. Right, exactly. Um, that was my thought because these two are just kind of blocking my path. But I think realtor might be better. So I'm going to spend three dollars of my hard-earned money. Like I was looking at these. That's what I was saying. And I don't. They're added? not all quite the same. No. I I think they are per. Oh uh, no, maybe the tree placement. The tree placement is different on all of them. What I don't want is to make this. And you can put it on either side, or you can put it on this side. Just 
thinking about it, but I don't want the circle to be adjacent to submarine voyage, and that seems to be the case no matter how I rotate this. That is problematic. So I guess it's going to go over on this side. <laughs> I don't want to block that. Okay. Well, that was the... Did you pay for that? Pay $3 for okay. it, yeah. That's the end of the round. So now we go to the bonuses step. Uh, you are top of the thrill. Do you want the extra guy again? Yeah, I do want the extra guy again. All right. That's too, that's too attractive. Good. But you're going to get everything um, else. I do. Uh... Do I want first player? No, you want to be up on that track, right? No, I want a victory point. Or I got a victory point. So I'm taking a victory point. I'm not going to go down on that track. Uh, and then on this one, I'm definitely going to go down on the track. You get three dollars, and get three dollars. All right. Well, then first player marker rotates this time. Yes. Yay! Finally. All right. Uh, are you gonna do any uh, advertising? I'm gonna um, spend one dollar for I one victory point. I think I might. Um. I do have a two for two. I'm gonna spend two. Two. Uh, and get two points two victory points that's on the haunted the haunted dungeon and then the maelstrom i'm gonna spend one for one. Oh, nice how much money are you and you still have four dollars left after all that yep i'm doing something wrong here money i've got no money makes the world go around <clears throat> you had a lot of money it certainly makes around. the carousel go around so that is up. the advertising step cleanup refresh this concessions i will get my workers back um, you can get yours I don't know what some of these concessions okay, are representing, yeah. but we got four different ones this time. Well, so far we've had hot dog stands, looks uh, like some, shirt shops. Looks like some games of skill out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to rotate this so the minus two is on uh, Sabretooth's show. Mm, I wonder what you're going for. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, I said it. I was letting everyone in the audience know kind of what my goal was. I'm definitely not <clears throat> going for that. So we need um, to do income. So I get three, four, five, six dollars this time. Oh, yeah, income. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine? Did you start with three? Oh, yeah, nine. I keep forgetting about Man, you're it. lucky that I'm nice, and yeah. I keep reminding you about that I mean, $3. I don't know if reminding someone of the actual rules of a game would be considered nice. Some people nice. wouldn't do that. Some people wouldn't, but I'm not saying that that's right. That's actually jerks. quite not right. <laughs> All right. Well, I think my first play is obvious because I'm going to get the Sabretooth show for $1. Now, was it obvious? Why is it obvious? I wouldn't have been able to take it. So yeah, but I, I know I'm just I'm just saying. You just could saying. take it though. I couldn't really because I don't have a place for it. Well, you don't have a, sure, but you're gonna go to the arborist or you're gonna go to the oh, thing. Oh, I kind of dig this artwork. Very the fun, Stone very, Age, very, very, very reminiscent of one certain Stone Age cartoon. So this gives me one uh, ah on its own. Yeah. Oh. And then it's a uh, long four piece. Saber Tooth Show. There it is. It's going to go right here. And it's going to give me oh, uh, joy. joy and one of anything. I got you on the joy. What do you? What else are you going to go up on? I'm going to go up on... I bet it's going to be... It's going to be Thrill. I knew it. <laughs> you want that extra guy as much as I you like can. having extra... It's a worker placement game. For sure. I like having extra guys. Especially in two player. If you have four and I have three, mm -hmm. that's something. All right. Uh, I have been sitting here talking and not thinking about what I'm going to do, though I have $13. That's a uh, lot of money. It is a lot of money. Um, I don't really have much reason to get rid of any of these trees. So I'm going to go... I don't have... Do I have any space? I don't really have any... Oh, I forgot to put my trees out when I built this one. I'm going to go to the realtor and spend $3 to get a board. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm going to put my board... Oh, I see what you mean about the... Oh, jeez. About how, yeah, you don't want it to be adjacent to one of the other ones. Can I do this? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Well, that is going to be adjacent to one of the other ones. But the good news is there's two trees adjacent to it, too, that I don't have to get rid of. That's true. But you'll never get that point, that no, bonus. No, I will never get that bonus. Don't rub it in. I think I'm going to do the same thing. 
Oh, wow. Well, I need to keep extending out. So I want to get some big attractions. Um, mm. This still makes certain tiles really difficult. I mean, it does. Oh. So I think that's part of the whole fun of it. Well, trying it to figure say, out where to place things. Oh, no, it just says take an extension tile. Um, I feel like I'm still going to have to do a thing, but let's see here. What do, you, what do you mean do a thing? You always have to do a thing. You can't just no, say pass. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. You are you're welcome. You mean I still have to take an action? Um, hmm. I know Atlantis looks pretty good over there. It's hmm. three. Is that a zero? It's just three for Atlantis, but that's a hard piece. Which one? Atlantis. Atlantis is unique. Not too bad though. But it's a zero discount for Atlantis, so it's just straight up three dollars. Yeah. yeah. That's the only one. And then the other one, the hover races, is flat out six dollars. I'm looking for certain things, and I don't. I just don't see them. I need some cards that give income. You've got way more income than me. And Those are all right here. Oh, that's the only spot that gives income? Yeah, these are oh, uh, sort of souvenir type jobs. <clears throat> that's, oh, you're right. Let's see that. Um, Shows a little souvenir icon. And it's $5 oh, man, to get I, it. I think it feels like I'm going to be getting something else. Uh, Tiff, these, these trees are printed on the board, but they can be removed. So that's why you put yeah, them on there. Because you can build you can, them on those spaces you, after you remove them. Right. Once I remove these, then I could cover those spaces if I needed to. I've just tried to build around them because that's one less worker I have to go to the arborist for. But I think I'm going to have to take some of these trees away because there's too okay. many trees. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to have to take. I'm sorry, too. That's a zero. That's a Really Everyone is that. sorry. So then just take it. I don't know what you really want. Do you really want to? You really want Atlantis for $3. I, I can do tell think you I want Atlantis for $3. And then that. You've got money to spend. So. I've got money to spend. It takes me up on joy. Um, And it gives me this little blue T shape, which I can place right. Well, while you're doing that, I already know what I'm going to do, and it's going to be to take another attraction. Yeah. And that one is going to give me a joy. Uh, do I want to go up on that? Well, I'll wait until you I go, want up. To go up on this. Oh, we're in round three, right? Yep. All right, it gives me a joy, a thrill, and one of anything. I'm going to take another, I'm going to take it off for that. All right, that was my turn. Aren't you fast? Well, I knew what I wanted to do. Hmm. Yeah, real estate becomes important. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. Holy Aren't cow! That you see that hover racers? Thing? Yeah, it's That's huge. Crazy! It's a huge one, but it That's gives you a lot crazy. of stuff for six dollars. gonna cost me that much. Oof, that's that's kind of gross. What is which one? Having to pay an extra two dollars. I know to five dollars for that. We don't really have enough rounds left to make that extra what worth it. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try something. Then I never it. said I was a great gamer. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna spend five bucks to get this. Ooh, uh, this is a little yellow. What is this? Oh, they're all the Sticks same. Sticks and stones. Yeah, but I want to take the right one. Sticks and stones. I can place this right here. Yep. That's the only place I can place it. And now you are done. you got to get another expansion. I know, but I'm done for the round. You are done for so the round. So Sticks and stones goes right there. So I've only got $2, uh, so I think I'm done for the round as well. I'm going to go to the arborist and take off these two trees. That was it for me. And that was it for both of us. Yes, that was it. So we go I, on to the bonus step. I'm definitely going to use my thrill to take the extra worker again. I might be too focused on that. I am going to take first player marker. And I am going to take $3. Yeah, $3. That was pretty good. Advertising. 
Advertising. I'm just going to spend one for one right now. I know that you're way ahead of me, but I need the money. Uh, I'm going to spend two for two. Yep. You're just continuing to get ahead of me. I've only got three points right now. You've got like, quite a bit. I've got six. Six. Yeah, it's so a big, big we'll doubling. I don't know what the score... I have no idea what the score is. It's not going to be good. Like it's and... not going to be good for me, I'll tell you that. All right, so these concessions are going away. Can you put these in the gone pile, please? Then we're gonna get the gone pile. Four more concessions. Yeah, the gone pile. Oh, oh, there's another hot dog stand. Which I think is like that. Hot dog stand's pretty good. Take our workers back. I'm gonna reset the thing. I want to make. I want that armor shop for me to be free. Do you? Yeah. It won't be free. It'll be a dollar. It'll be a dollar. It'll be one dollar. Um, it's income on time. you. No, income. it's income Oh yeah, time. income. So I'm gonna take my straight I up. I still only get six dollars. Three, and then I get a lot. Five. Six, seven, eight more. So you got eleven dollars that time. Yeah. Yeah, this is, income this is, is important. My, my fatal flaw in a lot but of But that's these why games I'm gonna do it now and finally gonna get some income. Too much income and not pivoting to points. I am getting income though. Because now it's a little late in the game. I'm gonna take the armor shop. And we're in round four, right? Yeah. Oh, it is a little late in the game. Can I have the armor shop, please? There it is. But I only have a spot for a little two one here, so that's why I need to be perfect for it. All right, I have to go to the realtor, but I'm trying to figure out uh, what I want to do here. I'll go to the realtor, and I'm going to buy a board. Where do I want to put it, though, is the question. Yeah, that is a good question. Which side do you want to put it on? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to build out to this side. This might be crazy, but I'm going to take that dragon's flight for $7. Whoa. Um, and it's going to give me that big one, but it gives me one thrill to start with and two joy to start with. And it gives me that big tile. The big green one. What is it? Dragon? Dragon Spike. You had your hand on it, and then you put it back. Oh, the big one. one. Yep. It's going to go right here. So it is also going to give me two more increases of my choice. So let's go up on the Odd Track once and the Thrill Track once. Oh, did you use the Arborist? I used it last round. Clear some space there? I did. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dragon Spike. And that is four for three. That's not great, but it's not the worst. Uh, oh, I didn't put my trees down. Got to do that. Got to put your trees down. <clears throat> I am going to go to the realtor again if I have to. I know. I kind of need to do that, but I don't have three dollars. And I'm going to place this right here. I got to get some more trees out. Is my is my uh is my whole park still on the board even? Yeah, for the most part. You can oh, slide it over a little bit. I'll slide it over cuz I'm not going to be adding to the other side anytime soon. And I was talking about the new Velocity coaster at at Universal Studios. I really want to ride that. It seems awesome. Um, I don't know that I can fit anything that's on here except for maybe a concession. Oh, I have to spend three dollars for that. Yeah, you do. Did I spend? Oh, I didn't spend three dollars for the first time either. David, cheating over here. David, where's Jeremy Howard when you need him? I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a concession. Do I want to just have a lot of money for the last round? I don't know that I do. I don't know that I care about that much money right now. I'm gonna go here and do uh, uh, awe. And a thrill with that concession. All right, I'm gonna go with my last person. Ugh. Do I want money, or do I just want to clear stuff off? It's a 
good question. I think I'm going to clear stuff off. I'm going to go to the Arborist for nothing and get rid of these two trees. That's smart. I've got one guy left. One guy left and two dollars. Yep. I've got no guys left and five dollars. Who's in better shape? I think you. Um, no, because you're going to be able to spend all that on victory points. So you're going to have a lot of victory Maybe. points spent this time. Yeah, you're going to have a lot. It's an interesting cycle. I, don't game. I like do it. This. I kind of messed myself up because I only have two dollars left. I was one dollar short of going to the realtor now. So I could just go to the banker and get two dollars, or I could just get a concession that gives me two dollars. If I have a spot to place it, which I do. Let's see what I've got. All right, that's it for action. I really like the way your park looks. Thank you. You spread things out pretty well. Oh man, you've gone concession crazy. Well, you gotta make money in parks. All right. Bonus step. I'm gonna take the extra worker back. I am gonna keep first player, and I will take three dollars. Man. Uh, advertising step. Uh, I'm gonna spend two. I gotta spend. I gotta get some points here for two. And then one for one and one for one. All right, I got four points that time. I'm going to trade in some of my points. So I got four points. Um, I'm up to seven. You got ten? I've got ten. Ugh. Yeah, but you're, you're, staying, we'll you're staying with me. It was three to six, and now it's <laughs> we'll ten to seven. Uh, income. No, 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 clean up. Clean up. Refresh concessions. I'll get rid of these two things. Thank you. Take my guys back. I really don't like that I've given you that extra worker the entire game. It hasn't super helped me, well, obviously, because you're so far ahead. I don't. I mean, for now. All right, and then uh, is that the month marker? So this is the last round, right? It is. And All right, you, income. Oh uh, yeah, income. So there's my three three. I get ten dollars in income this time. Five, six, seven, eight. Which is good. I'm gonna set this. Like that. Mm. Where's the minuses? Oh, don't that carousel is about to pop apart. So let me just. Where do you want go. the minus like to? That. Is basically what it boils down to. Uh, like that. There we go. You want the minus to a <laughs> hover racer? Yeah. Oh. I do. Interesting. So my first action is going to be to go to the realtor. Unfortunately, because I'm out of space in my park. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, do I want to snag that hover racer out from underneath you? Mm. Can you fit it? That's my question. Oh, you took your you used your arborist, didn't you? I can probably fit it. I like that shape anyway. Can you fit it? Can you fit right there? That's I don't want to be a jerk, though. I don't want to be a jerk. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my plan. I am going to go here and get save back keep. It's gonna mm -hmm. cost me a premium, so that's seven plus one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's eight dollars, so I get nine. Get one back. To take this, uh, it's gonna get me two up on the thrill. One, two. Yep. One up on awe. Yep. Boom. Um, and uh, what's this right here? That is a two for two. So two for two, and I eh, where's the tile to that thing? It's the it's a green one. Oh, it's this one right here, and this one is gonna go right here, covering up. Nice, these that was a good placement. Two icons. That one had to feel and good. And I'm gonna go one two mm -hmm. on all. Okay. You ready? Are you done? I'm gonna go here and get this one for three dollars exactly. Stone Age Racers. Stone Age Rush. Can I get the square red one? That's going to give me one joy. And let's do one aw, oh, because I'm going to cover that right there. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. 
What are you feeling? I'm feeling fancy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Ooh, can I get another thing? And is there anything that I really care to have? I don't know. You have one worker left. Um, no, you got two. I've got, got two. I've got two workers. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good. But I don't. How much? Oh, you already went there. Yep. That is tricky. I already went there. That is tricky. I'm gonna go here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and get a concession. And I'm. We're just talking. Awe and money. Joy and money, or no? What's this? Oh, that's awe and thrill. What's the mm -hmm. thrill situation? Ooh. Oh, that's so close, but I don't think I can pull it off. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, trying to get to the point bracket on these tracks. Gotcha. And I'm awfully <clears throat> close. I, I mean, I'll do that. Just. Because. I'm going to take this concession stand, which looks like it's a dancing show. Might be. And I'm going to place it right here. Which mm -hmm. gives me an awe and a thrill. Yep. And then I'm covering up uh, yep, a, wild. a wild, so I'm going to take the thrill. Okay. I'm going to take this concession that is an awe and a joy. When joy goes up, my all goes up, and I'm placing it here, so this one's going to go up one more time. Mm, you're kind of a jerk. You're kind of a jerk. And you've got another... I do have another thing. guy. Another One more guy. Uh, I'm going to go back there. I'm going to take this. Uh, looks like a clown. It looks like a clown show. It's going to give me awe and joy, and I'm going to place it right next to the dancing show. Just mm. actually... Isn't Diagonal. It? Yeah, it's in this game. That's what it means, right? Um, no, and you know what? I don't want to. I don't want them to compete. Sure. I don't want the clowns competing with the dancers. So I'm gonna put it down here where there's nothing going on entertainment-wise, mm -hmm. and get my awe mm -hmm. and some joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I feel. I mean, it's possible that you could screw me up on the awe, but I don't think so. I'm gonna try though. Yeah, I don't, don't, don't know. I don't know that I can either. I don't see any spaces on your board. For no, much. that's the important part. That's the part that's too bad. So, I'm gonna go to the banker and get two dollars. Oh, oh, that's not a bad idea. I don't think it is. Uh, I'm done. Okay. And you're done. Mm -hmm. So, bonus step. I'm not going down to get mm -hmm. any of the uh, first player marker is not going to make a point. So I'm not going to go down so I get, oh, have you been, you've been going down on those, yeah. right? So I'm not going to do it down so I get a point. I'm not going to do it down so I get a point. I assume you're not going to go nope, down. so I'll get a point. Yeah. Yeah, you've got me with points by far. Advertising step. This is where we spend money. Um, I'm going to spend two. I've got seven to spend. So I'm for gonna... two points. Definitely do my one to one. That's the best. And then a one and, uh, and then another two for a two. Four for three. Do I have a two for a two? No, I got a two for one. Two for no. one. The three for a two. All right. That's all my. I spent all my money on advertising. Uh, I don't really don't think there's any cleanup here. We just go to final scoring. Yeah. So we check. To so we go. To, we have to look at the is. tracks. Uh, well, we do goals first. Oh, we could do goals first. Which is kind of interesting. I got both my goals for six points. I got both mine for six. I'm so I figured, furthest up on the. Off, I know. I really tried to stop you. And I have two fantasies. You actually, actually did two. Fa I needed three prehistorics for my three. The fantasies are big. True. Like that's the problem. I and needed. Three prehistorics and it'd be on the joy I'm track, actually kind of glad you ended up taking Dragon's Flight. Yeah. Because it was going to take some doing for oh, me to make space true. for it. Um, so that's six points for me there. So that was a wash. Uh, attractions. These are just the points on your attractions oh, yeah, here. Right. 
So I have another. I have another ten points of attractions. I have another eight. So I got two more attraction points than you. Um, in motion bonuses. So if you're in the plus, you so get you have two and I have two. Point, just two points. Uh, you get each player takes five victory point. To uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Five victory points for each of their emotion discs that have ended in the eight space or higher. So I get ten, and you we get, get 10. ten. So it's still a wash. Bit of a wash. All right. I'm feeling good still. Yep. Attraction count bonus. Oh, I didn't yeah, I count hit, on I hit this. Seven. You beat me here. Well, it's not a beat. It's just each player takes five victory points for having six or seven attraction. I only cards. had seven. And ten. I couldn't get so that last. One. Oh, attraction. Yeah. Uh, do these count as attraction? I'm You'd have to look at the rules. How many do you have, though? Does it even matter? One, two, three, four, five. So you'd have... Oh, yeah, it does matter, then. It does matter. So we're taking a look. Um, I'm not actually sure. I think they're all attraction cards, David. Well, we'll take a look here. I want to make sure. I don't want to well, cheat my way into... Look at what it says here. 35 attraction cards, including souvenirs. Okay. So you get five points as well. And that's it, right? That is it. So I, I, I don't know. 10, 20... 30, 45. 45. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Are you kidding? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Back to the rule book, <laughs> everybody. Can't. Unbelievable. Really? We tied. Uh, the oldest player. I'm no. Just kidding. No, I'm kidding. The I'm oldest kidding. player. I'm kidding. I'm what just is always going to say that. Uh, ba, ba, ba. the player with the most total visiting points. Oh, visiting people. That's the VP. Isn't that clever? The oh, no, I'm just that's, that instead is of victory points, visiting, points, visiting people. people. In, in case of a tie, yes, the tied player with the most money. I have zero dollars left. I, spent I have zero dollars oh. as well. Okay. In <laughs> case of a further tie, the tied player closest clockwise to the player with the shovel token wins. Does that mean me? The player for, or are you closest because you are that player? I that's a great question. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Let's say let's call it a tie because I actually don't know that. Because until someone corrects us, and we'll look it up and I share. I think so because technically the person with the shovel might not have been one of the tied players, and so you go around until you hit the first person, starting with the first player. You you look for the first person that's tied. So probably. Yeah, I just don't know if it's closest. I am the closest. We'll find out. Whether Ryan won or I won, but for right that now, that was close though. We're both happy with the tie. Oh uh, yeah, I can't believe we. I'm a little surprised. I mean, it was it was pretty close. I got most of my points back at the end. Also, I I had a few more attraction points than you, and I I had I got more points in the last round for spending money. Well, remember, I had all that money. It to was spend. ten to seven at one point. Right, and you did get two more attraction points. Than so I was I did. only down by one. So, and I think you you did some advertising more in that last round. I than did. You did I did. Well, I went to the banker just to get that extra two dollars to do more advertising. How many points did you get in advertising uh, at the in that last round? Seven, I think. Oh, seven S points. Yeah. Oh, you. How much money did you have? Yeah, because I did my. Uh, oh, that's where you. Did, that's no, where you I made didn't up. have that much money, but I did my three points here. And my two points here, my one point here. Right. These two. Oh, yeah, one for have, ones. You didn't have a lot of one for ones? No, but I had a four for three, which I used, and a three for two, which I used. And then my two ones. Yeah, I had a couple two for twos. I know. I would have loved ones. I would have loved to. So yeah. I mean that was that it that was a lot of fun. This game is fun. Oh, you want me to you want sure. to steal this? Yeah. Yes. So I don't know. I, we'll, we'll announce next week who we, actually we won. We will tell you for sure who won. Uh, we'll get the, the fact that it came to a tie is pretty crazy. The fact that we went to a tie and then we didn't have money to break the tie and then it's so it's there's all these things to think about really quick because I had that extra worker the whole time, but I didn't. I didn't have the money to to like really use it. Like I got the time, a few more points advertising throughout, and then you made up for right. that at the end. So so having that extra worker every round really didn't like break the game i don't feel like i mean i went to the arborist once and i didn't I, once I, too. I didn't even utilize those two spaces i think i could have used the arbor i i wasted a lot of space i not as much as i could have but if i had gone to the arborist a couple times i probably could have done my park a little mm -hmm. better but it's an action right so anyway thank you all for watching yeah. again this is 10 penny parks this is coming out 
sometime early next month, so a couple weeks from now, actually. Sometime in, yeah, early to mid-April. Yeah. Uh, make sure and comment below, and someone will win a copy. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.